Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in this today's video, we are diving into some of the exciting new feature that Angular has introduced in its last two versions. As many of you know that Angular continues to evolve and offering more powerful and efficient way to develop web application, all right? So one of the key features that we will be exploring today is will be around at the red input decorator and its significant impact on component communication. We will discuss the implications of this oversight and how it can affect your data flow and the application stability because angular has introduced a lot of things like required transform then there is something called a signal input and whatnot so if you're eager to get up to date with the new angular latest features then stay tuned because today I am going to give you a detailed exploration of these updates like complete with an example and tips to help you integrate them seamlessly in your project all right so without wasting further ado let's jump into the video so here I have a blog application and yeah it's my own blog channel which is let's program if you see this is a very simple uh, blog website where I have this different different components where I have recent blog posts, trending blogs and I have recent blog videos and, and there are a lot of things here. Okay, so what we are going to do, right? So if you see here that these are nothing but my child component. So this is basically if you see the whole blog page. So this blog page is my parent component and whatever the small small component what you see here, this is re recent blog post, trending blog post, these all are my child component. So let me show you the code wise how it looks like so here if you see this is what I was talking about so this is my blog component okay and inside this blog component I am making use of some child component which is app recent blog app trending blog and there just below I have this all blogs okay so something like this what I have right now so if I ask you that how do I share a data from a parent component to a child component so most of you will uh, say that Shashi by using at the rate input component so this is what I have also did in this project so if I go in the recent blog because if you see right if you go over here in the blog website so here I have a title this title is coming from my parent component and then I have this whole big object which has an image uh, with this has a username the title of the blog the description the tags and all that and this is all are coming from an API and my page component is responsible for doing the API call and that is the reason that whatever you see here right so my page component is doing all the API calls and it is collecting all those data and sending it to the child component okay so over here if I go in the recent block component which is the child component so this guy has two things uh, this has two inputs the first thing it takes the title of the blog and second thing it takes the recent blog object if I go here show what is this blog looks like so this is what it has so now if you see here that so if I see there is nothing called a, so what if I do right if I go here in the blog component and if I remove these two title and recent blog and let's see what happens so if I remove those those two things right okay let me remove this let me make this correct formatting yep yeah. so can you see I remove those two inputs and now if I save those changes let's see what happens so if I save the changes if I go back on the UI so can you see it's not showing my blog because I have removed the title and the blog the blog object but the thing is right it is not even complaining me because we are using angular which is like type safe basically whenever I do any mistake I get it in the compile time but for this one right I'm not getting that problem so if you are using maybe angular 12 13 then this is how like a lot of people can do some small mistake okay but there is no such warning or error I'm getting in the compile time because everything I see in the like it's all success now if you want to make it like hey if you don't pass the title if you don't pass the uh, blog object I will not allow you to completely compile the code so something like that we can add in in our project and how do we achieve that so what you can do here right so if you go here in the input all you need to do is you just have to like open up this object and you have to say required as true okay so moment I do this right required as true now it is required so can you see i'm getting an error in my parent component that hey it is not allowed can you see it says that required input title from the recent blog must be specified which means now it is asking me to can you please specify the title of your blog so that's what i need to do so here i can go and change it to recent blog okay so same thing now if i save the changes here let me save the changes here and now if I go on the browser now I can see the title but still the object is not there so what I can do right so I have to become a good developer then what I will do I will go here and I'll make this also as a required true because these two values are must so that I can render something on the UI the moment I make this required again I'm getting something like the error over here in the 
parent component like hey it's complaining about please make it required because it is required you have to specify the value of it so let's go and specify the value uh, the input name was recent blog and let me just go here so this is coming from my store so i will say blog store dot recent blog okay and now this will pass that object and let me format this so that it should be okay because i'm using prettier so it throws all this error all right so now if you see right now there is no such error here so now it is taken that happily so now if i save the changes okay so now it will be back to normal so this was the first feature what i wanted to talk that now your inputs are required okay so now you can make use of that required attribute to do the job so this was the first feature what i wanted to talk today which is the required input okay so the second thing is right now people can ask me shashi what about the alias because previously whenever i want to add alias over here okay so now some of me maybe don't know what alias is so let me tell you that so here if i say here that recent title or maybe i'm just changing this to recent title so now if you see here right it is complaining that hey there is nothing called as recent title so i will have to change this also something like this recent title and i know this is wrong but over here you want to use it like title only so title okay so to do that right so there is something called as alias what you can add over here so what i can do right i can just say comma i can add an alias over here and i can specify here that this will be like title the moment i add this title right so now there is no complaints and you see now the title is allowed over here and over and over here also right you can have it like a like you can have the variable name as this which you can access it over here okay but over there it will not complain you to do that so now this is what so this is the second feature what i would want to talk about which is the alias of the input all right so whatever i have talked till now it was all valid when you guys are on working on angular version 14 so now let me talk something which angular has shipped quite recently and when i say recent i know a lot of you have already guessed so i will be talking something around signals so with the new angular version 17.1 version so here you can make use of something very interesting and that is called as signal inputs so now i will be changing all my existing code from this to an input signal and you will see everything will still work the same what you see here right now for this recent blog all right so let's start with the first change okay so first thing thing i think i should change the title first this is not correct so this should be recent title and uh, the moment i change this so this has to also be changed on the html so let me change it over here as well so this will be my recent title save all the changes yeah everything is back to normal so now i will be changing this one to an input signal so let me comment this code for now and what i will do right so to make use of new input signal you have to import something from angular slash core and this will be nothing but input okay just make sure that this is a small i okay so not this is not the decorator one i so this is caps this should be small okay so that is my input so what i will do here i will just say give the title which is recent okay recent title the same title but this time this will be coming from input and my input is of type string and i can have a initial value to my input also if you want so you can specify the input initial value which is this okay and now if you see that now if you hover on this so this becomes a input signal of type string okay so one thing to note that so that's how you make things in your angular version 16 no sorry angular version 17.1 so this feature was introduced in version 17.1 and now if you go on your html so here you will see a warning that it will say the that your recent title is a function and should be invoked because now this is a signal so if you want to call a signal you should have this bracket the moment you do do this save all the changes and let's go back on the ui to see if you are able to get the title or not so here it should display the title why is it not showing because I have given it as an empty value. Remember the empty value. And now if you go on your, the, what we say, we have something called as the parent component, right? So over here, right? This is not taking this title. Do you know what is the problem? Because this has to be recent title now. Okay. But now you will say, Shashi, why you are changing? You should have used the alias. So now a lot of you will be confused. How can I use alias in this input signal? It's quite easy to do. Let me tell you that it's the same thing. All you need to do is you just have to again open up this bracket or uh, this uh, what we say the object and you have to just say your alias and alias uh, like you should give a name to it which is title okay and that's it so it is still allowed to do with your input signal and now if you go here in the block 
it's fine now see there is no such problem now if i save the changes and if i go back in the ui it should be visible can you see recent blog now you will have a question Shashi. what if i remove this title okay so you said that uh, by using at the rate input decorator so remember when i was using at the rate input decorator there was something called as required correct but with the signal i'm not able to do it so how can i fix that issue so to do that right to make this input as a required field so what you can do right you can just say input dot required and that's it so moment you say input dot required so now what you can do right so now this is a required field okay so this is a required field so you don't need to pass this anymore okay you don't need to pass the initial value to it anymore so that's what you can do because this input should receive data from its parent not from its child itself okay so now that's what it will be complaining in the parent component hey that if I hover right, so it will say that required input title. So let me just go and put the title again. So I will say that title recent blogs. Okay, it should be blog, not blogs. Okay, let's save the changes and let's go on the browser to validate if everything is okay. Can you see? I still see the recent blog. Let me do the same changes for the, the blog as well, the blog object. So now I can comment this code. And over here, I will make the same uh, same kind of adjustment. So I will say this as a recent blog. Recent blog will be of type input dot require. Okay, you can specify the type of your input, which is blog, and you can just open those two brackets. Okay, so the moment you do this, you will have to do some changes again. Okay, so now, okay, now no need of this big input decorator, correct? Let's remove that and let me fix this formatting issue. Okay, that's fine. Now, if you see, right, if you go on the HTML part, this will not work. If you if I hover on this, right, so this should be an input signal. So it has to be invoked. So I will have to do something like this to call it. Now let's save the changes and let's go back on the UI to see everything is working fine. Can you see now everything is still there. So this was the feature what I wanted to talk about where I can replace the input decorator with your input signal. So the only one uh, prerequisite is that your angular version should be 17.1. So if I just go in the package.json and let's show it to you that my angular core is 17.1.3. Okay, so you should be on this particular version. All right then. So now you know about the changes what angular pushed in for in version 14 and now in the latest version 17.1 so but now a lot of you can ask me this question that hey Shashi if you have this input signal then what about the ng on changes if you remember right angular has something called as ng on change okay so this is a lifecycle hook which it provides so whenever there is an input value changes we can run this this lifecycle hook gets triggered and you can do some changes or manipulation of your data over here or sometimes people make use of input set to do some changes specific changes so how we will handle such kind of situation now so let me tell you that how we can do now so let's not use it anymore if you're using input signal and let's also remove this no need of writing all those so now what we will do right let's make use of a constructor so let me add a constructor over here and in this constructor what i will use i will make use of effect okay and this effect is coming from angular slash code so now if you go in this effect so what you can do right you can actually call whatever you need to do over here if anything changes to your signal like for example whenever i'm receiving the title here i want to console that okay so what i'll do i'll just do console.log okay and inside this log i can say that uh, input value received or something like that input value received Okay, and I can just call my signal over here. So this dot my recent title and that's about it. Now let's see the changes on the browser, how it looks like. So now if I go on the browser and can you see here in the console that you can see input value received like which is my recent blog, correct? So I can do the same thing for the recent blog over here. So whenever there is something changed and you want to catch that particular notification. So you can do that now by me making use of this effect. So no need to import on changes and all that. Okay, so let me remove up all this clutter code and if you see this code, right, so it look, looks more cleaner than what we had already by using all those add the rate input decorator and all that. All right, so that's all from this today's video. Uh, let me know in the comment section, like, what did you liked about changes? What Angular is bringing to us? Like, what is your opinion? So do let me know in the comment section. And if you still have any doubt related to this topic, so you can mention them in the comment or you can connect with me over my social handles which is linkedin instagram or you can also connect with me on telegram so we can chat over there to clear all your doubts 
also if you want to like uh, read some good blogs around linux or if you want to learn some new thing about angular like how can you secure your angular production build app and all that so i try to write some blogs about it so you can visit to my website which is blog.letsprogram.in like still it is in beta stage or what I, or I think i should say it's in alpha stage at the moment but still you can read all of them because i try to uh, put up all my learnings over there so you can find that over there on my blog website Site. okay and if you have any inputs related to this blog like if you think that this can be improved so do let me know that as well all right then see you guys in the next video stay tuned bye bye